I imagine you're a very, very happy man after that. E excellent. Listen, I've been saying for a few weeks now, I think, well, the probably performances of no match were results, and results of no match were performances. Uh, but I thought, I thought we got everything we deserved today. I thought the, the, we, were, we were excellent. I just said in, in there to him, I, I think we're, we're a good side, but I think we're an even better side when we play that intensity without the ball. Uh, I didn't think, you know, Clyde uh, had many opportunities outside Good Willie uh, because that's what he brings and that's what he gives you. And Max, he said two, two or three great saves off him. But I just thought our intensity without the ball today, again about people and again about the pitch and you know, allowing people to play. Um, but on, you know, up on top of uh, Clyde was excellent. So, you know, all round performance for 1 to 11, and including my subs that came on, I thought it were excellent. You say about 1 through to 11, and the subs and Andy Sterling got man of the match, but genuinely, I know it's a cliche, but everyone really, really stepped up today. It was a fantastic team performance. Yeah, do you know what? You, you look at the team performance today and, you, and you, know, you probably look at every single individual player and you say they could have won that money match. Do you know, and I'm not into money matches, I've never been into money matches, but I'm talking about individual performances were excellent. And, that, and that's good, you know, whether it's Scott Robertson uh, and, and Adam, Adam Scouse at the back or whether it's Carlo and, and Conor McManus in the middle of the park. But my two strikers as well, I mean Ryan Thompson, we, we worked on something this week and probably surprised a few people, probably even surprised Clyde by playing Ryan Thompson up front today. But we just felt we had to go a wee bit different in terms of our style of play uh, and we did that and, and I thought it worked a treat. I thought he was excellent up the top end of the part along with David Dingana. I thought he added a real physicality up front and, and bullied the clay defenders at times. He did because that's what he gives you and that, you know, it doesn't matter what, what the centre half it is, Ryan Thompson is going to let you know you're in a game, he's going to get his body in, you know, he's an experienced player, knows how to use his body and knows when he you know, get his head in and, and take the ball and he's a good footballer as well, he's a very good footballer. So. Do you know, he, he did the excellent up there, but David Degana, you know, was good as well. The kid coming in for the, for the cold a wee bit, he's not played a lot of football lately. So we worked with him this week with, with Ryan and worked together on the bounce game on Tuesday night. And, uh, and they've taken it into the game today and, you know, they were, they were excellent, so delighted. Tremendous boost to get the early goal for a change after uh, we've had lots of early pressure in games but not scored. And getting the early goal, great boost. Great, yeah, it's a great point, Mike, because we have... Do you know, had periods in games where we've, like last week, we had probably the, the last part of the, the first half last week and we just couldn't score. Do you know, but today we've, we've started the game really well and scored the goal and that makes a difference. When you score on top and score at the right time when you're on top, it makes a difference to any team and, and certainly it gave us a platform today that we could go and build for early in the game. And that's how we held on to it. <laughs> we did, we managed the game better. We said that to them at half time. We managed the game better. It's, listen, it's, it's four unbeaten in the last five. It's two clean sheets out of the last three. Uh, and we're off the bottom of the league, so it's not been a bad few weeks. It's not just the day it's got us off the bottom of the league, it's probably the last three or four weeks in terms of picking up valuable points as well. So they've a lot to be proud of, they've a lot of, you know, they've probably a few doubters in recent weeks, but they've, all they've done is won a game of football. They're not getting carried away in there, but they know that team in there can go and compete with most teams in this league when they're at it like they were today. So, you know, that's gave them a, a, a massive confidence boost. And we'll come in on Tuesday and Thursday and work ahead through the game next Saturday. I thought Carlo's really slotted in so well. He's getting through an awful lot of work in the middle of the park. It probably goes unseen by a lot of people. Did we're desperate to get Carlo in the team, but he struggled with an injury yeah. with Livingston, and, and obviously we've got to be respectful of his parent club. So for about six, seven weeks, we were kind of molly coddled him a wee bit as such and you bring him off the bench. But he's by now back to full fitness, and you can see what he brings to the team. Do you know, his, his energy is, is excellent. He, he goes and he passes the ball very, very well. And he goes and takes you up the pitch. I thought he took the eyes off the pitch a couple of times, particularly late in the game, with his, with, with his real power and strength and power in running. Uh, so, no, he was excellent. And I also think he compliments Conor McManus mm -hmm. in there as well. They two, you know, compliment each other. It leaves Conor to that area that he likes to play in, you know, in, in boss games in relation to his passing the ball. I thought there was a moment, kind of 10, 15 minutes from time, where Jordan Allen had pushed forward and, and could have been out of position, but Cameron Elliott just drop back into the left back and just that, that working for each other really to, to make sure they go over the line. That's right, we said to him on Thursday night, we, chat, we knew we'd been playing well and we know we had created chances and we probably didn't get what we deserved in recent weeks so we challenged him on Thursday night and asked him to individually work harder than they've ever worked this season and I think you should that show today. I think individually they, worked, you know, they gave us everything and that's one thing I, I can't doubt for this group of players. They give you everything. They give you everything. You know, they're in your corner, and it worked. Even the times they've gone through difficult times, they're still with you. You know, and, and and I'm delighted for them. I'm delighted for them because it gets that monkey off the back. People say you've no one, you've no picked up three points, and there's nothing more frustrating when you know you're playing well. I'm looking at you, camera, uh, <laughs> and there's nothing more, more frustrating when you know you're playing well, but you're just not getting the results as a group of players. And that's the way it's been for them in recent weeks. So 
to come today and work as hard as they did and get a deserved three points, so I'll give them a massive boost. And the fans were a bit more vocal today and were right behind the team throughout the match as well, I thought. That's not always say it, Mike. That we've not got a lot, a lot of fans. No. We're not a big club. We're, not, we're a provincial club and we're a community club. And do you know, I plead with every day, every time I speak to them, this is your club. Do you know, uh, this is your club. Come and support it because it's a fantastic football club. And I've <coughs> seen that as manager. And do you know, it's just a fantastic football club with great people. Mm -hmm. And you know, come out and, and see these boys on a Saturday and support your local team because you know you get you'll have some down moments. Of course you will, but you'll have moments like a day where you get home happy on a Saturday night. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I'm a, a frustrating afternoon, I imagine, losing 3-0, but, but equally could have had two, three, four goals yourselves. It's a very disappointing afternoon for us, um, particularly on the, the journey that we've been on. And um, I think first and foremost, you know, I've got to, to say a well done uh, and deserve for Stringer. I thought that they competed, I thought they defended fantastically well, and that's great foundations you, that you look for. Always a difficult venue to come, I always found that as a player myself. Um, and the diffi uh, the conditions, but you've got to learn how to adapt and to deal with that. We don't get off to the best of starts, you know, and we knew that Stringra were very good at set plays, um, for the an analysts that we've done, and, um, you know, to go a goal down within the first five minutes, you know, is, 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 is very disappointing. And then we managed to get ourselves into the game uh, slightly, we've got one or two good opportunities in areas that we'd highlighted in, you know, what's the pleasing thing is that, you know, David Goodwill, he's such a, a good pro, such a an intelligent player that he listens to detail, you know, and he knows exactly where we're asking him to do, you know, other than uh, the finish today for David, you know, I thought that he did exceptionally well for us, you know, and uh, for a frustrating afternoon for him. I've got to give uh, Max Curry great credit, I thought, you know, three or four wonderful saves the other day, and that's not me... Uh, try to deflect on, you know, the 3-0 for, for, for Sunra. I just thought at that particular time, you know, goalkeepers, they, they don't get the credit they deserve, but I thought they were absolutely fantastic saves um, and great defending by Sunra overall. We did start to begin to see a lot of uh, the ball a wee bit more, um, so we did. But, you know, Sunra at that stage, I've got something, you know, tangible to hold on to, I thought. That even got their tails up even more, you know, they were more solid, they were difficult to break down. I thought their pressing, their intensity was, was excellent. And as much as we got into good good areas ourselves, I just felt today, you know, even looking back at, you know, David's, um, the four saves for, for Curry, our final product of the day was poor all over. You know, I think that had a big part, part to play with it. And I've just spoke to the group there, you know, there's there's... There's now an expectation placed upon them, which is which is a positive, um, and you've got to learn how to deal with that. So you do, and um, you know, like last week, you know, the week before, we come away with positive results. So we do, um, and it's important at that this stage, you know, that you don't get carried away and you don't get too high and fool yourself. And it's also today coming here, you know, and getting knocked back down like that, you know, and as disappointing as it is that you don't get too low. You've got to find that that medium balance there, and um, you know if we want to compete at that right end of the table, that's the balance that we've got to find ourselves. You know we can't go from one level uh, to an extreme. You know in a in a few weeks, and it's trying to find that consistent consistency. And what we have to but make sure is what we do is compete. Before you can go and win any game of football, you've got to learn and uh, learn to go out there and compete not only with your direct opponent but with yourself first and foremost. And I thought it's to land on that today.